Hi folks, it's Evo here from Thunderous Lure Company and welcome to today's episode of Thunderous Fishing Tips. We are out here in Colchester, Ontario on the western basin of Lake Erie, supposedly the walleye capital of Ontario, at least that's what the sign said. And I'm here with, I've got Steve and Chanel with me today. Hi. And Chanel, it's been, I think we had her on the boat three years ago. At least three years ago, yes. And same with Steve. A couple years ago, yeah. Yeah, when yeah. he's not farming at Bouchard Gardens <laughs> in Windsor there in Amherstburg, you can find them on the boat here with me. You got it. All right, we're gonna run some Viper Spoons today and I'm gonna run the, uh, the SP2 and the SP1. Those are my two favorite sizes of Viper Spoons. And we're gonna do some trolling for walleye. And I've got some night crawlers here. And the SP2 actually has three hooks. So I'm gonna rig, uh, get a little bigger one here, this one here. I'm gonna put the, the night crawler on all three hooks. That's how you wanna rig it, just like that, so it hangs nice and vertical, just like so. And that's going to come through the water really, really nicely. Spoon's going to flash and flutter. And then the trailing bait will be on the back side. So I'm going to run three different systems today. Let's show you the first system. I'm going to run this jet diver. And this diver is going to take that viper spoon down 30 feet. And we're fishing in about 30 feet of water. And these walleye are clo holding uh, close to the bottom. So that'll get us down there. So let's get it started. And I'm going to do something else with that jet diver. So Steve, if I could ask you yep. to... let's. Point us, uh, yeah, let's go basically due south. Due south? Um, maybe even, uh, yeah, yeah, due south, right like that. So, I'm gonna let out about 100 feet of line. And then what I'm gonna do with this jet diver, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna use a, I'm gonna use a planer board, an inline planer board, and uh, I'll get to that in a second. Let me let this line out, we'll be right back. Okay, so we've got, got about 100 feet behind the boat. Now the way these inline planer boards work, they're very, very easy to use. There's a little clip here. You just uh, pull, pull on the clip and slide your line in the board, just like that. So now your board will not come off your line. Then there's uh, another clip that holds the line. It's like a clothesline clip and you just clip your line into that clip, just like that, and that'll hold it now in place. So what we're gonna do what this uh, inline planer board is going to do, I'm going to let out about another oh, 30 feet or so, and it's going to basically take our lure off to the side of the boat. So for any of those fish that get spooked by the motor, the lure now, instead of running directly behind the boat, is going to run to the side of the boat. And what that's going to do is allow us to run two more lines, because there's three of us here, so we're going to have two lines straight behind the boat, and this one is going to be off to the side. So there we go, that one's, that one's done. So that jet diver is going to be running 30 feet with the viper spoon following behind and it's going to run off to the side of the boat. Next rig. So the next rig we're going to run, I'm going to use the uh, SP1. So this is a little smaller, it'll take a smaller, uh, a smaller bait. This uh, SP1 has two hooks, the SP2 has three hooks. So same thing, I'm going to use a smaller uh, night crawler on here and I'm going to rig it on both hooks. But this rig now is a bottom bounce rig. So I've got a, a T-turn tied on here, as you can see. And then I've gone down about two feet, two and a half feet to a, a cattail sinker. And this sinker is designed to walk over rocks and structure and keep me snag free. So that's gonna be walking along the bottom. And then I ran about two and a half feet of line to my viper spoon. And I'm running a silver one on this side. And that's gonna be flashing and fluttering about two feet off the bottom. So this is a, a great bottom bounce rig. And all we do with this now is just get it down to the bottom and then uh, and let out about, again, about another 100 feet or so of line. And just as we're trolling, that sinker is going to be, that cattail is going to be walking along the bottom. The viper spoon will be two feet above, always in the strike zone. So that's another great way to fish the bottom in this uh, 30 feet of water. Very, very effective. So that's uh, method number two, and we're gonna get uh, a third method going here as soon as I get this rig uh, set up. Okay, two lines in. The third one we're gonna use, we're gonna use uh, lead core line. This is yet another way to get your lure down close to the bottom uh, without any downriggers. And lead core line is exactly that. It's, uh, it's got a lead core to it. It's got a, a sleeve over top. It's like a straw with a lead core through the, running through the middle of it. And for this one, I'm gonna use a gold viper spoon, uh, only because there's so many gobies here in Lake Erie, 
and uh, they keep close to the bottom so I'm gonna run the gold otherwise the reason I've used the green mackerel and the silver on the other rigs is because it's bright and sunny silver is great on a sunny day whereas gold and the bleeding pearl chartreuse are good on uh, cloudy days or in stained water so with this system with lead core line if you've never used it basically the lead core line comes in different colors as you're letting the line out every every 10 yards it changes colors so as a general rule every 10 yards you're going to get about five feet of depth at two mile an hour and we're running we're running at about 1.8 mile an hour right now so as a general rule so five feet per color so there's one color so that means i'm i'm five feet down so we're going to let out uh, six colors because we want to get down to 30 feet so i'm color number two and uh we'll keep working my way to color number six we'll get this rod down there and uh we'll, we're in business we're trolling that's it three different systems let's take a look and see which one produces fish first hopefully we'll get into some walleye here see how it goes Hey? Yeah. Hey, Evo, I have a question. Yeah. How do we know when we have a bite? Okay, on the planer board, when you get a hit, there's that little clip. So theoretically, the walleye, when they hit that lure on the planer board, it'll release from the planer board, and you'll see the board come to the back of the boat. Okay. Now, if it doesn't release, the planer board will still kind of go to the back of the boat, because what'll happen is all that weight on the back of the... Uh, on the back of the lure, if it doesn't release the clip, what'll happen is that will normally and naturally just come. So if we see the planer board start coming to the back of the boat, time to set the hook. Okay. With awesome. the other two, you will just notice that they're going to go down. Right. They're going to so get a hit. Obvious. It'll be obvious. Okay. And then awesome. when that happens, we set the hook. You're going to get the first fish. Okay, I'm excited. All right. Let's do it. Let's go. <laughs> Here you go, Chanel. All right, I got it. We got our first fish, and it came on the lead cord line. Put your other hand right up here, it'll be oh, easier. Yeah. That's it, you got it. Let's see what we got. Now I gotta keep the boat in gear so the other lines stay active. You want me to drive it straight? Sure, you wanna, you want yeah. me, or you wanna land the fish? No, you get that. Okay. You, you, you talk to Chanel. You talk All right. Chanel. So we went down, the lead core line looks like it struck first. So pulling? Yeah, yeah, I see I the see fish, him. yeah, he's on top of the water, so. We got Not sure what we got, but. Uh, is it good or bad? Let's get them in. I went down to the brown line, so we were definitely close to the bottom. We're traveling here at two and a half mile an hour now because we, we just made a turn and we came into the waves this time. And we got something on there. And uh, I will say, we did have something else on that lead core that we missed earlier. So Could be a good sign right now, the lead core, that's, that's the second hit on it in a short, short period. Top of the water, though. Yeah. So I hopefully think. it's a walleye, Steve. Could be. Well, I hope so. On the top, like that. Well, what happens is because she's reeled him in, and he just come up, and now she's just. Uh, ah. Yeah, keeping tight. Oh, That's it. See how he's yeah. No, no, you're doing perfect. Just like a pro. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Now just slow down as you get close to the boat. Okay. Oh yeah. That's a nice little walleye. Yeah, you got walleye. Nice and easy. There you go. Nice and easy. There you go, Chanel. There's your first walleye. Yeah, trip. we got that's him. Yeah, that's a nice walleye. That's a nice one. And he came on the on the gold. Let me grab this. Thing. On the SP1. Yeah. As I mentioned before, with the uh, with all the gobies in here. Oh, that's a nice little size. Yeah, yeah, and I'm sure that's what we just missed like minutes ago. Oh, perfect. Yeah. So that's a small size. That's not what we're used to on the uh, on the eastern base on the eastern basin. But that's a that's a nice eater right that's a there, nice Chanel. Eater. Okay. Oh, well awesome. done. That's All right. Good Steve, teamwork. Good. Steve gets the next You're one. Up next All right. Then. All right. This one's Pressure's going in the on. box. Pressure's on. All right. So let's oh. get that lead core. The lead core seems to be uh, doing it right now. So. They said they said they weren't big, but that's a good sign. That's a good eater right there. That's a great eater, Steve. That's really good. Yeah. All right. Let's get another night crawler and get that lead core right back out Is that there what you again. Do? Yeah, yeah. yeah. For sure. All right. We're back in, Steve. And guess what? This planer board. It's not bouncing around anymore. It's just holding steady. And if there's a fish on there that's smaller, it's not really gonna move the planer board. So we're gonna check it, Could all right? Be. It's been different. We're gonna check it because there might be one on here. And I think there is, Steve. So there you go. we're gonna let you bring this one in, Steve. Right. There is one on here. So one. what I noticed was the, uh, the planer yeah. board wasn't bouncing around anymore. The rod was just staying steady and the planer board was staying steady. So that was a sure sign that 
hey, we got something on there. Oh yeah. So oh, we got ourselves another. That was as hey, by the time I put that lead core in, we got another fish. <laughs> so this one's on your jet jet diver, and he's on the SP2. So that's the bigger Viper spoon. So does that planer board just keep slipping? Planer board is coming in towards you, and when you get it close up, I'm going to take it off, Steve. Oh, oh I can't. wow. I can't. You got a big one or what? <laughs> Look, Dad, the planer board's gone. Home? It's down there. With your hook bottom, maybe? I think so. No, you just... Uh, no, it's coming. It's coming, it's coming. Jeez. <laughs> it's, it's a lot of pressure, Steve. <laughs> A lot of pressure but once the board comes out then it'll be a lot easier I can't really shut the motor down Steve so you're gonna have to okay because the planer board it's the planer board you got the planer board you got the jet diver and hopefully a walleye <laughs> it's okay you can do it Steve you can do it okay now hang on I'll help you out here Chanel just keep us yeah just keep us going planer board going in the waves Keep the tension. Hey, Steve, it's all you. All right. Planer board's off. Just, oh, he's way back there. Yeah, see him on top of the water? Yeah, I just don't want to get him in that. Okay, right morning. there. That's good right there. So now let's keep it right. I did not. This is a tricky part, Steve. Now, can you do it without getting us tangled? That's what I'm more. <laughs> okay. I don't want to get him in that uh, one line. Okay, I'm going to just go a little bit this way, Chanel, because we're right. going to tilt the boat ever so slightly to keep the fish on that side of the boat. Okay. On. On. Can you take them to the middle, Steve? Yep, you want me to go over? Yeah, go over right to the middle. Go over top of that line. Keep them right in the middle. That's it right there. Perfect. Oh, he's... You got a good one, eh? No, just me. Or... <laughs> I'm not losing my... Steve, actually, you worked a midnight shift yeah. last night, so no, he pulled you're hanging good. in there pretty good, Steve. He pulled pretty good, even. Well, I think you got a good one. Maybe bigger than Chanel's. Oh, oh for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I don't for know. Sure. Let's wait and see. Let's wait and see. Oh, no. He's, he's, there he is. He's about the same size. It must be. Oh, oh, oh. No, no, no just bring it in. Now, when you get close to the jet, just uh, stop. Stop about six inches from the jet, Steve, and then just slowly pull back. That's it. Stop reeling. Slowly pull back. There you go. Oh yeah, he's pulling harder than mud. I, I, <laughs> I hate to tell that's you, Steve. Not that's, very. That's smaller than Chanel. <laughs> <laughs> nice size. That was good work, though. Oh yeah, these are Definitely all good. Deep these deep are deep. all good eaters They're right good there. Yeah. That's the size you get here. Back, back. Uh, in yeah. the western basin, we get them a little bigger, but... Yeah, they said they were huge. That's a nice tasty size. Yeah. But they're out there. They're out there. Yeah. And so that so, came on the jet oh, diver. I have a question. It seems like yep. the fin on top there is different than the one I caught. No, nope, they'll be, they'll be like the that? same. Yeah, okay. they got a little white tip on the tail. Yep. And see that little bit of black there? Yeah. That's a nice walleye right there. But you know what, Evil, because of that... What would you call that black thing? That's a jet diver. That pulls. Makes it yeah. pull way harder. It right? does. Yeah. You get the resistance. I've caught a lot of pickle, but I've never had to pull that hard. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot it's of different. resistance from there. Yeah. So we're gonna get this one back out there again. Yeah. So this one came on the uh, on the on, on the board. The, on the board. So he hit off to the side of the boat. Where theoretically you should catch more on the planer, right? Theoretically. Okay, we're all out of worms, Steve. I've got some artificial worms, but I also have an artificial leech and I think what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put the leech on this uh, sp2 Viper and you rig it the same way I'll just show you how I rig it just a off the nose there just like that find out where it comes through on the middle and then just poke it through the middle and then find out where it comes through on the end right about there and then poke it through the end and that's gonna come through the water very nicely just like uh, just like the night crawler did and that's the beauty with the viper spoon we could use live bait cut bait artificial bait and great action phenomenal action steve yeah oh yeah look the ice we're gonna get this one I down there, there. one on this one here too. and then we'll get the planer board back out pretty sure there's one there did you have another hit on this yeah okay uh, you know what we'll get this in and then we'll check it there you go chanel all right thank you 
Yeah. That completes the trio. We just grabbed an apple here. Right yep. Now that one is on the bottom bouncer. So we got one on the on each one. One on the lead core. One on the jet diver, and now one on the bottom bouncer. Okay. Yeah, this could be another nice fish, Chanel. All right. Hey, bigger than uh, bigger than Steve's. <laughs> <laughs> now what I do with the bottom bouncer, as we're trolling along here, you have to make sure your sinker is heavy enough to touch the bottom. I had that three ounce uh, cattail on and I switched to the six ounce cattail because I wasn't feeling bottom. Once I did that, boom, off it went. Okay, so we're getting in the fish today folks. Gorgeous day out here, and if you see the chop on the water, it's the perfect chop. Uh, we didn't get out here till late, but it doesn't matter. The fish are always active with this chop. Okay, a little more Chanel, and then stop. Okay, stop reeling and just lift up slowly. There we go. All right, we did it. We did it again. He came on the silver. Oh, this side. About the same size as yours, Steve. Same size. That's why I was saying. Nice size. <laughs> <laughs> that's, why said, uh, that's, a, that's a nice little hook. Yeah, it's a nice fish. Yeah. Good eater. In fact, I will tell you as well, these bottom bounce rigs, the setup with the T-turn to the two snaps is actually going to be one of the Thundermist rigs available by later this year. Oh, yeah. 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 So they will become pre-rigged. There we go. Nice job, Chanel. Thank hey, you. there's another nice walleye right there. Let's That's put them in the box, it. hey? Absolutely. All right. So, three fish, one on each system. It's good to try different systems. You never know which is going to work best, but in this case, <laughs> they're all working. Absolutely. We're having a great day out here. Yeah. And it's only midday and we've just begun, so we're going to enjoy this beautiful sunshine and great weather. And uh, Steve's up next. Yes, Dad, you're up again. Let's see what you can do. Maybe you get the Pressure's bigger one. Pressure's on now. <laughs> well, thank you ever so much for joining Steve, Chanel, and myself here on today's episode of Thunderous Bye. Fishing Tips. And as always, folks, until next time, good luck and good fishing. This is great, isn't it? Uh, yes, awesome. I love it. Awesome. Outstanding. Good stuff. Hey. Okay. Good stuff. Okay.